Hey, if you have seen some of our recent videos, you will know that we came here to Japan to go snowboarding for five days. And we're here in Tokyo now at the end of our trip. And I was thinking how we prepared for this trip. We normally only go snowboarding one day at a time. And we're wondering, you know, being, being a 40 year old here, if I would be able to snowboard for five days straight. I figured it'd be pretty dang tough. So there were a lot of squats done in our household. So many squats, some lunges, some sit-ups, uh, but a lot of leg days. And we got here to Japan. We had our first day snowboarding and it wasn't too bad, but we did wake up sore, very sore the next day and over the next few days. But there were things that were sore that we hadn't planned on. Things like my feet. My feet hurt so bad. Shreya's feet hurt. Okay. They did. They hurt. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and that was just something that I didn't even consider. And something I wouldn't have even thought about. So fortunately, I have some good friends who, who know a thing or two about physical therapy and they gave me some tips on what to do. But the lesson I was learning from it and how it applies to the asset protection world is that you make the best plan and preparations that you can, but things can always happen different than what you can expect. But being as best prepared as you can will put you in the best position to react to those unexpected changes. At least only the feet hurt and not the whole body. Yeah, at least it was only my feet and not my, my, my quads, my quads and my calves. They were good. So you can't prepare for everything. Uh, for example, um, starting your asset protection planning starts with insurance, but again, insurance doesn't cover everything. And I don't know any fortune tellers. And Shreya doesn't know any fortune tellers. Thanks. Insurance doesn't cover everything. Uh, that's why there's other steps and other things you could do for asset protection planning, right? So you have your business entities, your LLCs, but those don't protect you from everything. So that's why you go up and you have more, you might have your asset protection trust. And all of those preparations put you in the best place to react to whatever uncertainties may come at you in life. You're trying to come at me, bro? 